Coming here, I sort of had a huge discovery for myself because I, I grew up in an all-white family in Florida and I was surrounded by people of a lot of cultures, but it wasn't in my sphere a lot, um, in my personal sphere with my family. And so I found that coming here, I wanted to explore that a lot more. So maybe part of that in, intense search for the culture has been born from that. But I really wanted to know more about myself and I got an ancestry DNA test taken and I learned a lot about where my people came from. And that was really exciting to, to touch into those roots and then to find those roots on the campus and on all the different people. And so I find that being on this campus, sometimes you can feel isolated as a minority. You think that you're the only person you know, that's walking around and sometimes I found when I first got here I was counting the seconds in between seeing another person of color because I just didn't see them. And I would never have noticed that at home being in that isolated world, but when you are taken out of that and really have to see what it's like being a minority, that is, it, it's a completely different experience. And so I've sort of made my way traversing the two different worlds uh, since I've been here, but it's definitely been difficult to hear the frustration and um, pain that a lot of people have experienced or things that I've experienced that are racially charged or microaggressions that I had never experienced a lot being in a bubble back home. And I think really realizing for the first time when I came on a campus with so many different opinions um, and some of them being that people of diverse backgrounds don't belong on a campus like this, especially historically. So that, that's hard sometimes to wrap your mind around, but I also see it as a challenge to really plant my feet here and leave as much of a, a legacy behind as you will, just to say that I was here and I am part of the people who are trying to make minorities a bigger thing on this campus.